Once upon a time. Welcome, you two travelers. I am here with my wonderful friend, Emily, also, also known as Monster Cookie. Um, she has kindly agreed to <laughs> reminisce on our past. We have lots of um, fun things that we just fun stories. could try to bring up from our past, which could be a good just or bad idea. Dredge it all up. That she's kind of a little bit older than me, which I don't think it's quite fair, but <laughs> It's is. not my fault I was born first. She lords it over me consistently. Rude. <laughs> but so we've known each other for since we were about four, which now would be, I can't do math, about 15 years. Uh, and my sister is, it's kind of fun because my sisters, Anna and Christina, um, knew her sister, Katie. They're all about the same age. And so they were able to um, get to know each other when they moved into town. And um, ultimately, I guess it was just fate. Emily and I had to be friends because my mom was like, well, your sisters are playing with her sister, so you just have to. So I like the idea that it was forced upon us, yes. not like we chose this fate, it was forced upon us, which is basically me with all of my friends. <laughs> But we did have the choice of staying in contact. That's we true. We have that. done that. The earliest memory that I have of Emily is basically that I knew her. When I was in kindergarten, I was entering kindergarten, um, and I had just met Emily somehow or another, and was going to what was called Homeschool Academy. So it's a one day a week, you know, on Thursdays you'd go for the day and, um... Split it by classes, so yeah. second graders, fourth graders. So I was walking to, to my first day with mom holding my hand and looking around at everyone and I saw Emily. And all of a sudden I was like, I know a person! And so I latched onto that thought. And, um, basically, when mom said goodbye and, um, she was walking away, I was like, well, I mean, obviously, I'm going to follow the one person that I know. So, I walk into Emily's classroom with her, because that's logical. And we yeah, sit down, obviously. there's this really cool, I don't know if you remember it, the, um, there was like a, like a, a stoplight. <gasps> hanging from the ceiling. Oh my gosh, I had forgotten about that. that. I love that classroom. I never got to be in it, but I loved that classroom because of that stoplight. And so I walked in and I'm, I'm sitting with her and, you know, talking a little bit. I'm like, oh, there's all these big people around. And then they start calling roll. They get to where I'm supposed to be and I'm not on the list. Because it turns out that Emily is so far ahead of me that she is in first grade while I am supposed to be in kindergarten. <laughs> I, of course, did not know this. They they realized that I was in the completely wrong classroom, and the teacher came over and said, okay, well, we're gonna take you to, to your room. And all of a sudden, I just, I couldn't handle it. I just burst out in tears, my five-year-old self just traumatized because I was being pulled away from the one person I knew. And it was horrible, except for the fact that I was not the only one crying because apparently someone in the kindergarten room was supposed to be in first grade room. So we had switched places with nobody knowing until they called the roll. So as I was walking to the kindergarten room, this first grader was walking to the first grade room also bawling his eyes out. So, so there was just a lot of weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. So we were about seven and the Curious George movie had just come out and we went to see it. Because we were like seven, and that was cool. And my mom made t-shirts of that. Do you remember? Mom I do. made t-shirts. She made t-shirts with the Curious George logo and like wrote like Emily's party. And we went to like the midnight showing, which was super cool because we were seven years old. Oh, not a thing you just did. We all had this amazing fun time. Or tons um, of tons of people we had known from homeschool academy that yeah. Were um, our other mutual friend Corinna was there, who will have some videos with her later. Um, anyways, so I had all these people over because it was released around my birthday. Yeah. And so it was my birthday party, Curious George, and my sister had all these games that we played. And they had, you had peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Yes, we did. They were so good because, I mean, Curious George, bananas. You also know how to throw a party. And then in the morning, when we woke up, um, Emily had this horrible headache because she stayed up too late because... I mean, we were seven. 
we normally got 10 hours of sleep, we got like four. <laughs> so Sarah was a very loud person. And it wasn't like necessarily in a bad way, she was just loud yeah. as who she, she was. She was fun, super energetic, just fun to be around. And um, we were having breakfast and I think my mom made like pancakes yeah. and it was so cool we got pancakes <laughs> um and so we were sitting around the kitchen table and she was being super loud emily had a headache so she was like ah. and then all of a sudden she flails her arms about while she's talking and so all of a sudden she goes like this and knocks a can of coke into emily's lap and so just insult to injury. <laughs> yeah, and so Emily left early from the party and we all felt super bad, especially Sarah. I mean, by the time I got back to the house, I was probably fine. I probably <laughs> slept some and was just perfectly dandy. But yeah, at the time it was like, really? In Homeschool Academy, we had just switched buildings. We were in like third grade, I think we established. Um, and so there was like, a class of third graders and so it was about 12 people would you say? I think total yeah I think it was the first day of first grade we I believe it was in the art room we walk in and all of a sudden our teacher as she's taking roll is realizing that there are not one not two not just the two of us but four Emily's. So out of 12 people, that means one third of our class was Emily's. And in that moment, we decided we needed to make nicknames. So you were Emily. I think I was just plain old Emily. Plain old Emily. I was Emmy Pie because that was my nickname from when I was growing up. Um, the other two Emily's, one was M&M &M, and the other one was just M. And it so, was really confusing for the first bit because they would say Emily and it would all go, what? <laughs> but I think in general, in context, we were able to figure out who the teacher was talking to at a certain point. If she was looking straight at you, you could kind of figure out she was talking to you. Right. But it was, it was a fairly confusing year. After that, like, two of the Emily's dropped out. Yeah, or they, they moved or something happened, yeah. and so it was just the two of us then. And then another time that, um... It's completely separate. Yeah, this is... Co-op. Years and years later. So this was in high school. So Homeschool Academy was, <clears throat> yeah, through, um, like, grade school, and then, or sorry, co-op, um, was then what we did for high school. And it was kind of the same sort of setup. Uh, this time we meet twice a week, uh, for classes, and, uh... They were higher level classes, obviously. They were harder. Um, and we were both in one class and we were like, hey, we're in this class. It was the first class in the morning. You remember that? It was like at 8 a.m. And so we get to the class and I remember this. The teacher was like, if you're late, I'm knocking off points. If you're late multiple times, I'm going to fail you on certain things. And we were like, because <sighs> like sometimes college teachers will do the same thing. They're like, yeah, you know, just make sure you're there on time. No, she was like, you have to be sitting in your seat at 8 o'clock. If you walk in any time past 8 o'clock, if you walk in at 8.01, she knocked you down five points. And in general, it was kind of fun. It was a physical science class, so it was, you know, fairly easy. It was, it was a really cool class, but I remember halfway through, she ended up having to leave for certain circumstances. Um, and then... Which was nice, because then, um, since she wasn't there, we didn't have to wake up really early Oh my morning, gosh, that was good. A.m. That but was... But... She would give assignments every week, so trying to keep on top of those, like, she'd send an email Oh, that was mom. so... Which was good practice for college, because that's precisely what online classes feel like. Oh, I but don't the, take online classes. The thing was, is this wasn't supposed to be an online class yeah. for freshmen in high school. Yeah, this my... This was a... This was supposed to be an in-class teacher. And it didn't turn out that way. We didn't know how long she would be out. Yeah, she we, didn't know how long she would be out. We didn't know it would be like months. <laughs> it was literally from like Christmas break until the end of school. So like a whole semester she wasn't there. And so it, it got really, really hard for me especially because yeah. it, that's not at all how I learn. I have to see it, hear it, 
taste it, feel it. Like I have to, I'm one of those kinesthetic learners that has to have everything. Mm -hmm. um, and so like I nearly did fall, fail that class because she wouldn't help me. The one thing we did get to do though, um, I remember we got to make models of <gasps> the um, hydraulic system. Yes. yes. I got this, this, the paint pan that you get the like clear paint pan and I took not model clay but that like whipped stuff yeah. kind of stuff and I made um, like a flat surface and I sprinkled it with the moss that you can get for doll houses mm -hmm. um, to create like ground and then I took um, foam and cut it into a strip and made a river out of it oh, and then I made like these peaks of um of mountains and I had fake snow to sprinkle <laughs> on them and I had little bits of water where there should have been water and then I think I even did something for the clouds. I I was pretty excited. She about went it. All it was pretty out. cool. A lot of people came up with some really, really creative ways. What did you do? Did a cake. <gasps> yeah, I remember it was, that. It was an edible model. It was <laughs> so cool. Because we like we made part of it out of actual cake. And then we realized like for the dirt that it would be we should do like I think we did brownies. I think we cut a section of the cake and then we put a little section of brownie in there. We did mountains out of Rice Krispie treats and we had like edible grass that we sprinkled and it was just um, with frosting. Frosting oh, for the I water. Think the I think hers was the most popular because you could eat it. Could so, <laughs> I will say this it was a really great class when she was teaching the yes. class. It was just very frustrating to not be able to get the actual teacher. Yeah. But thank you, Emily. That was fun. It was fun. Cool. Let's hope it doesn't drag up other memories because there are some things that you should just forget. Uh, not from grade school, no. Some of those haircuts I had? <laughs> We had the same haircut at one point. As oh my gosh, it confused people so badly because we had the cut across bangs and the like, it the was, chin length, the short was, hair. Like, people would say Emily, and we'd be like, huh? And then they'd be like, ah. <laughs> which one with the bangs and the short hair? I have a feeling though that they would not have such a hard time at this moment. No, I don't think so at this point, especially since I've kind of got like blondish hair. So. Don't forget that this lovely lady's channel is called Monster Cookie. She's got some really cool stuff she's going to come up with. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And don't forget to imaginate long and often. Bye! Um, so don't make... Just called the brain part. <laughs>